You guys haven't seen Soup Chick for a while. It's like 5.30 in the morning, probably afternoon for a lot of you, so, so good morning, good afternoon. But today, I'm gonna be answering some questions, and yes, I did have to move, if you guys saw the title of the video. Oh, Soup Chick, get to them. I'm a little sleepy today, so forgive me. I've been up since uh, 3.45 this morning. So a lot of you guys saw the content with my parents. Jung? 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 Vit. Vit? Lone. 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 Jung, vit, lone. Jung, vit, lone. Jung, vit, lone. Jung, vit, lone. Do we say little brown penis? <laughs> and I know a lot of you also love my parents, and I would probably say you guys like my parents a lot more than me. Nothing wrong with that. My parents are awesome, and for them and their experience in Vietnam, it was quite new. And they've, you know, they've never been to Asia. They've never been to a developing country. Um, so this is a very, very new experience for them. And I'm sure many of you are wondering when they're going to come back. I don't know yet, but I'm hoping maybe early next year, or at least maybe like my dad can come out and join me and we'll do different things. When my parents were visiting, um, I actually had to move. I got a message from my landlord and he needed his house back for business purposes. So for you guys, if you didn't know where I lived before, here is a quick video of just kind of my house. Parents, I've had many people ask me, do you want to stay at my house, like sleep over and stay here? Would you consider doing that? This video I didn't post. This is with my parents and kind of showing them around. I will post this on my other channel when I also post this video. So if you guys want to see it, you're more than welcome to see it. So as I'm traveling around Vietnam with my parents, um, I needed to find a place kind of fast. And there's a couple issues with that because one, I'm not home. And two, I have uh, soup sick. And having a dog kind of complicates the situation a little bit more. Because I know in my comment section, many of you are like, Dustin, we want to see the countryside content. Dustin, we want to see this. Um, but there's just been a lot happening. And now that I'm not living in the countryside, uh, for probably maybe the next year because of just the apartment and then the lease that I have with it, uh, it's going to be a little bit more tricky. So that's kind of been uh, one of the issues that I'm dealing with at the moment. For the change in my content, this has probably been one of the, the biggest reasons because I don't live in a countryside area anymore. I'm in the city. And hopefully maybe in the future um, I can find another place, but it's not easy to find like a really good situation that I had before. I was so unbelievably fortunate for the last four years of where I was living. Yeah, and it's, it's not easy to find. That's kind of been my, my biggest issue is trying to find another place because uh, my last house was good. I don't really have any major issues there. Uh, my landlord was wonderful. Just for circumstances, I had to move. And um, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. A bummer. It's early, so I can't really talk that well. Um, it's a bummer. I've got to change angles. My back's getting tight. So moving to an actual apartment, for my situation that I had for the last four years, I was extremely fortunate, and I would even say lucky as well, because it's not easy to find kind of um, what I had, and for me to do that again, it's going to take me a lot of time to kind of like survey an area, and then kind of see the neighborhood, because. Yeah, there's there's a, a lot of stuff that needs to go into kind of finding a countryside house. But um, yeah, for the next nine months or so, I will not be at a countryside house. I will be at a normal apartment, which has been interesting. I forgot how convenient so many things are. And now I'm going back to the gym, getting stronger. My form's getting bigger. Look at all that hair too from Soup Sick, because I've been holding her. So I've been taking care of myself quite well, been cooking a lot, been exercising all the time. And if you guys are actually interested in meeting me, uh, many of you know I do competitive arm wrestling on Saturday. I usually host a little club. So contact me on Facebook or Instagram, be like, hey Dustin, I want to arm wrestle, or hey Dustin, I want to meet you at arm wrestling practice. If you don't even want to arm wrestle, that's not an issue, but I'm pretty easy to meet if you guys do want to meet me and just hang out. Not an issue whatsoever. Starting, so traveling with my parents, having to find a new house while I was with my parents, and then my friends coming. Oh my god! <laughs> so good, so good. That was really oh, good. What? Man, thank you. And speaking of which, for my friends, I got so many comments of you guys are like, why are you doing this, these foods, doing this? You know, to be really honest, I just did all like the normal popular foods with my parents and I just assumed nobody wanted to see that again and I was completely wrong. Let me stop the video for a second. 
Also, keep in mind, they were in Vietnam for 10 days. I made four videos which encompassed four meals. So you can imagine how many other things that we ate. They had amazing dishes at really nice restaurants. And everything that you guys saw is just a small fraction of what they actually ate. Okay, back to the video. But my friends were able to try a lot of food. I have a lot of local friends, especially in the south of Vietnam. We went to a lot of different restaurants and my friends probably had one of the best trips uh, they ever had. And I know a lot of you like Matthew and Matthew especially had an amazing, wonderful time. They absolutely love Vietnam and they're interested in coming back, but it's not as simple as uh, a lot of you may seem. I have some of my audience from America and you kind of know how full-time jobs are and having like a two-week vacation and the complexity of it, it's not so uh, uh, clear in that sense. But I took them to a lot of good places. I didn't film it because a lot of the stuff they wanted to do, they came here on a vacation. And when I was filming, I was trying to film as fast as I possibly could because I didn't want to take time away from that. But now everything's been posted and reflecting back on that, they're probably more okay with filming now than they were before they came to Vietnam. So that's something in the future that I could potentially do. I got a lot of comments, I know, I know. So, and you guys are also seeing that I've improved the quality or you, what's the word I wanna use? Maybe you don't like the quality as much. Um, it's been trial and error, because I've been doing YouTube for a long time and I need assistance. I get really burnt out on YouTube because if I'm filming and editing and doing everything myself, I. I just, I can't maintain it. Like I would stop YouTube and do something else. So I'm, I'm really trying to figure out a system, working with people and then kind of how I can do it for the longevity of the channel. And I know some of the content, especially recently, the last two videos, you guys have hated. They've done absolutely terrible, which has been insightful and educational for me. So it's not an issue but I do have a lot of ideas, still some countryside content, but it's not as easy as it was before. Yeah, it's a big change, because you know, before living here, lots of outdoor things, the banana farm, doing this, doing that, lots of activities, and now in a normal apartment, and my time now is pretty much spent like just with work, and then now going back to the gym and trying to get as strong as I possibly can. And speaking of which, um, at the end of this month, this is July, July 29th on Saturday, Vietnam is having South Vietnam arm wrestling competition. Um, if any strong dudes are out there and you wanna arm wrestle, we got a few, actually more than a few, I think maybe six or seven. Soup sick, I'm sorry, soup sick, come here. Come here, soup sick, it's okay, don't cry, don't cry. I'll give you attention, come here, come here, okay. Uh, seven Chinese uh, professional arm wrestlers, I think, one guy from Singapore, two guys from Thailand, and one or two guys from Malaysia at this point, and then I think three professional Russians. Um, it's gonna be fun. I'm probably gonna get absolutely destroyed, but it's gonna be a good experience. So if anybody is interested, you're more than welcome to come out and um, compete. If not, um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated with uh, how it goes. <laughs> but uh, overall, I'm doing good. I'm really trying to prioritize my health, my sleep. Despite today, I'm a little tired, I've been up early. Um, my diet, my fitness, getting back into my old routine before I moved to the countryside that made some things easier and some things harder. Um, but yeah, so for you guys, uh, thank you for being patient with me. I appreciate that. And um, I hope you have a great day. This video might be pretty short, I'm not sure. But uh, I'll see you later with a new video sometime very, very soon. Peace. Thumb <laughs>